fight the climate crisis, we must have ambition. Not just from one country, or one industry, or one person. It must come from all of us. And the time is now. The time is now. The time is now. We simply cannot afford to wait any longer. We are working together with the people and communities that are daring to build a better future. This is ambition from the ground. Join us. Join us. Join us. Join us to act on climate. While it has prioritized the implementation of its adaptation plans, Paraguay has also achieved red readiness in a results-based payment project for reducing deforestation while leading the way in climate action through the promotion of good agricultural practices and low emission agriculture and focusing on installing sustainable transport and improved waste management as a key measure of its NDC plan. We are honored to be a partner of the Chilean presidency of the COP25, empowering national actors to transform global commitments into local action. Here in 2015, after days of unprecedentedly heavy rainfall, this normally placid river became a raging torrent that swallowed the Tbilisi Zoo, that destroyed millions of dollars worth of property and tragically killed 23 people. UNDP is now committed to ensure that climate-driven disasters like this one never happen again. Working together with our partners in the Green Climate Fund, the government of Georgia, Switzerland and Sweden, to climate-proof Georgia's people, their property, and their livelihoods. Mauritius and Seychelles have committed to reducing greenhouse gas emissions by at least 30% by 2030, and to ensure coastal resilience through adaptation. With the support of UNDP, Lebanon is looking to raise its ambition to address the climate crisis in the context of its nationally determined contribution. This ambition should also be at the core of a long-term and green recovery strategy for the country to address the socio-economic uh, situation and the challenges that have been further exacerbated by the COVID-19 as well as the recent uh, August 4 uh, Beirut explosion. Moldova became the fourth country in the world to present its second NDC, developed with the support of UNDP and the European Union. With its NDC, Moldova aspires to reduce GHG emissions by 88% with the ambition to gradually reach climate neutrality by 2030. To do so, and with the support of UNDP, the Low Emissions Development Strategy is being aligned with the more ambitious NDC targets, and the National Adaptation Planning Process is being rolled out in the country. Somalia is one of the countries most affected by climate change, with devastating floods, droughts and locust infestations nearly every year. But water management and disaster risk mitigation programs can enable Somali herders and farmers to ride out these worsening natural phenomena. These efforts are key to realizing Somalia's national determined contributions and a prerequisite for the kind of sustainable development that can bring hope and opportunity to Somalia's most vulnerable people. We are working with the people and communities of Pacific Island countries that are daring to build a better future. Through Climate Promise, UNDP is supporting Kiribati, Nauru, Palau, Tonga and Vanuatu to enhance both adaptation and mitigation components of their NDCs. Whereas the Pacific has contributed the least to climate change, Leadership in their ambition to address the climate emergency is hugely remarkable. Strategic climate action is focused on universal access to renewable energy. Through the climate promise, the role of women is recognized in economy-wide NDC ambition. India's ambition for the next decade is to significantly reduce its overall emission intensity, increase share of renewable energy, enhance carbon sink, and make people more climate resilient. India's actions are on track for two degree climate promise. To become 1.5 degrees compliant, we will accelerate our efforts.